What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters? Interesting show today. I mean, when I say creepy, you're about to get creeped out. It is, it, it's, it's one of those situations when you're like, what is going on? But it goes deeper, right? So, chilling ritual. Terrified nurse catches naked witches eating carcass and hunting CCTV after setting up cam in back garden. You see what I mean now? You see what I mean how this is creepy. It's going to get even more creepier, you guys. This is San Hope, Stan Hope, and this is who set up the camera in the backyard. They were trying to catch something, right? Her and her grandpa set the camera up. A Canadian nature lovers attempt to capture wildlife. So they were trying to capture wildlife because, listen, it was a deer carcass that was in their backyard, right? So they wanted to, I don't know, I guess they like, you know, they had got a little animal fetish. So they set a camera up because they wanted to catch a wild animal, come eat the deer. Whole story creepy. Listen, listen. Okay. A Canadian nature lover's attempt to capture wildlife on camera backfired terrifyingly after she inadvertently documented what appeared to be naked witches eating a carcass at night right by her house. You're going to see pictures in a minute. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Captured naked witches right by her house. Check this out. There goes your carcass. They caught a bobcat, too. So they did, they did catch a little bobcat. But look at this right here. That's a, that's a deer carcass. Ugh. That's a deer carcass, ladies and gentlemen. That's a dead deer. That's just sitting there right next to that bobcat, right? And look at this. Stan Hope, 36, attempted to capture wildlife camera. Those are the witches, right? Right next to the carcass. And this is, this is late at night. This is pitch black. Gotta have night vision in the camera night. And here you have... Two women, half naked, at night, eating a deer carcass. Me and my grandpa put up a trail camera to see if we could see animals. And we got a bobcat on camera, which was pretty cool. Little did she know that wasn't the only bloodthirsty beast they could catch on camera. I came... I came the next day, and Grandpa said he got naked people on the camera, and I said, no, you didn't. B.S. So he showed me. Stan Hope recalled. Can you imagine your granddad telling you set up cameras to catch wildlife, and your granddaddy telling you, hey, you know, we got a bobcat. Yeah, we got a bobcat. We got a bobcat. But also, have a seat. I caught two ladies. Eating the deer at nighttime. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What'd you say, Grandpa? What'd you say, Grandpa? I. As crazy as it sounds, Isaiah. Uh, son, sit down. We've caught two ladies, half naked. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hey. Two half naked ladies eating the deer carcass. Now I told you, have a seat. Why are you still standing? Two half-naked ladies. The bone-chilling photos taken just after sunset. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't that late at night then, I guess. Just after sunset. Well, they say it's after sunset. Just after sunset showed two disavowed looking women with long black hair obscuring their faces squatting over the dead deer and appearing to dine on its remaining like something out of the 2014 horror flick, The Witch. Oh, they out there. They out there. I don't know what the heck was up with that. Corinia Stanhope, 36, told K K Kennedy news of the spine-tingling sight 
It really freaked us out. It's not something you see every day. Listen, this ain't something you see some days. This ain't something you see some days. People like this, they know when to come out, usually. They know, you know, um, where to go, usually. How not to be seen, usually. That's why you don't see things like this. The Powell River native and reportedly been riding one of her horses when she came across a dead deer in her garden. While most might have turned their nose up at the sight, the mother of three and her grandpa Bob, 76, decided to set up a camera to see if the carcass would attract any critters at night. Oh, what, what state they in? They said, oh my gosh, a deer. Let's set the camera up and catch some wildlife. I mean, listen, I love wildlife. I watch wildlife all the time. I think it's beautiful to see nature. I see the greenery. Just, just, just see animals in their habitat. I love looking at it. I watch it all the time on TV. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I mean, one of my favorite things to watch is just nature. Hey Amen. But I don't know if I would have set up a camera seeing a dead deer. I probably just would, you know, cause somebody to pick it up. But interesting enough, they set it up. Stanhope said she was especially creeped out because the impromptu carry-on cuddling session occurred only two minutes from her house. I was concerned about them messing with my horse at night, the medical practitioner said. The horses always get really spooked and unnerved around that area. So this is not something new. You got the horses over there like, hold on, hold on now. You want me to go that way, but hold on, hold on. I know something you don't know. <laughs> I know something you don't know. She added, I thought they imagined stuff. No, no, no. Listen to your horse. At first, so I didn't think anything of it. Maybe I believe them now. Come on now. Listen to your horse, Stan Hope. Listen to your horse. Social media seemed convinced that the Canadian had witnessed witches, a local cult, or some other malevolent Entity performing a demonic ritual. This is actually terrifying, commented one viewer, while other posited, that's a skinwalker. They look human, so you come up to them, and once you do, you're gone. I'm sorry. That's basically a walking demon from hell. Theorized a third. If you hear screaming, stay inside and get a gun. You leave it alone. Sounds like somebody didn't seen some of these before. A skinwalker, they said. Huh? It looks like they have wings on, described Stanhope. One looks like she has blonde hair underneath. How creepy is this? She added, you can't really tell from the photos, but the hoof was brought right up to her mouth. And we're going to see that picture, too. The gals said she wasn't sure if the so-called witches of Beastwick were kissing it, smelling it, or eating it, but was nonetheless sickening by the ritual given the amount of bacteria that was potentially on the decaying carcass. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Now, this is the witch with the deer hoof in her in her mouth. Look at look, look look at this. Look at let's just get a little closer. Get a little closer. Let's get a little closer. Look at this. What the hold on y'all. Hold on y'all. Look at this. That's a deer carcass foot in her mouth. With like some dreadlock type, like a, like a dreadlock type wig on, half naked, no shoes in the wild. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Y'all see this? Creepy. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. Because there's a lot more about witches that may be just a little too graphic here, right? But 
if you go to my Patreon right now, there is a video where I explain more about witches, more about the underground satanic system, um, and also what happened to one of my friends pertaining to one of these witches. Go to patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin, and you will see the video, um, Unfiltered Truth About the Witches, right? There, it gets a little graphic, and they don't allow that stuff on YouTube. So go ahead and head over there right now, you guys, and check out more of the story about these satanic witches. It gets disgusting. Hey, Amen. Um, Stan Hope, if you see this video, put more cameras around your house. Because if they came once, they were there before. That's why them horses were uh, feeling that way, and they'll be back again. Put them cameras around your house, you guys. Who, whoever's having the same situation with, with theirs, what's going on with them, get right with the Lord, right? We know that John Ramirez, who used to be a Satanist, said he couldn't touch Christians. So whatever these demonic creatures are, whatever these satanic creatures are, they can't touch children of God. It's spiritual law. They won't be able to touch you. So if you are in a situation, you need to find Christ foremost. First and foremost, find Christ. Hallelujah. Get that armor of God on. Get that protection in the spiritual realm. It's a spiritual law out here, you guys. Certain things can't touch certain people. Let's let's get that out there. So, you know, cover up. Put the armor on. And get the get the Lord, hallelujah, with you. Especially you stand hope. You've seen it. It's right around you. Amen. So, yeah, guys, um, go check out more of the uh more of the detail of this story on my Patreon. Amen. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.